before we start the episode, I'm actually gonna show you guys where I get some of the TMs that I did, I present to you before we fight the V4. And one of them is TM26 Earthquake. And that's a pretty powerful move. So where we get that is on the Silk Cove in the 10th floor, which we skipped because, uh, blah, blah, you know. And this is it. The item on the bottom is a rare candy, and the one on the right is a Carbos. So that's one of the CMs. I wonder, I think there's more. Okay, and this is the other TM that we missed. Well, not really, because you have to get it in a prize. And that is TM15. The other TMs are useless, so don't bother with them. And TF15 is... If we go all the way down... Hyper Beam! So this is another TM we're gonna teach one of our Pokemon. Now, we're gonna go back to the programming and enjoy, sit down, get that popcorn ready because we're gonna challenge the Elite Four. Bye-bye. Okay guys, and welcome. Welcome to the final stretch of Pokemon Yellow. In the last episode, we made it to Victory Road and we passed through it and we finally made it to the Elite Four base, I would call it, right? So before we start our episode by challenging the first Elite Four, we're gonna wanna see our Pokemon. And wow, what a drastic change. Pikachu level 55. He hasn't really learned anything. Whoops, press the wrong button there. Lapras. Nope, I don't wanna surf. Level 55. Again, no change, but that could change really quick. Primeape level 55. Fighting. He learned Thrash. Aerodactyls level 55. He learned Hyper Beam. Snorlax. Whoops, again. Nope, I did not want to do that. Level 55. Body Slam. And Double Edge. He learned Double Edge. Edge. And Growlithe level 49. 49? Well, you, you may ask, why, Chisel? Well, because there's something I want to show you guys before we evolve him. Oh, fuck. Now, I actually want to save one of these rare candies, just in case of something. Let's drop one of them off. First. Alright. And let's go. Now we're gonna use a rare candy on him and see him level up to level 50. And he's trying to learn Flamethrower. So this is the special move I kept blabbering about. Flamethrower is a 100% move and it does I think 95 damage. So we're gonna erase Crappy Ember and learn... Flamethrower. Excellent. And now, now that we learned that move, we can finally evolve him. Yeah, you can see my TMs. Well, that, I'll get to that in a bit. What? Growlithe is evolving. Oh my god, he's turning into a beast. He's not useless anymore. Growl your Growlithe evolved into Arcanine. Wow, so we're going to use the remaining rare candies on him. Just because, you know, they're there for something, right? Level 52. Level 53. Uh, level 54. Alright. Now we have a whole bunch of TMs we can choose from. Let's start with TM08. What is it? Body Slam. I think we're gonna teach that to. Uh, our uh, Lapras already knows Body Slam. So we're gonna teach it to Arcanine. Arcanine cannot learn more than four moves. Leave an older move to make room for Body Slam? Yes. And we're gonna take that, take out. Takedown. So Arcanine forgot takedown and learned Body Slam. That's one TM. Thunderbolt. I think we're gonna teach that too. Hmm. Let me check the stats here. Snorlax. Oh wait, let me I didn't even get to check the stats. The special is 89. And Lapras is 6. 145. Hmm. Let's leave that for now. 
Blizzard. We're actually not gonna teach that. I, I Blizzard is not a hundred percent, and it misses a lot sometimes. And we have, plus we have Ice Beam, so we're gonna skip that. Now Solar Beam, I think we're gonna teach it to Snorlax, just because. Yeah, just because. <laughs> and we're gonna forget Rust, right? Yeah, Rust. And he forgot Rust and learned Solar Beam. TM25 Thunder. Uh, we're gonna put that off for a bit. Reflect. Again. I decided against some of these. Ice Beam. Hmm, who could learn Ice Beam? Again, Snorlax could learn Ice Beam. Interesting moves here for Snorlax. Uh. Hmm. So we're actually gonna get rid of uh, Double Edge and learn Ice Beam. Now we can't erase we, we can't erase Strength, so I made a mistake with that. Oh wow! Uh. <laughs> Let's see. Black? Nope. Now Double Edge. What was this again? The flag, right. right. So who can learn double edge? Anyone can learn double edge. But double edge is a very high risk move. Skip that now. Try attack. No one can learn try attack, alright? TM48. Rock slide. Now I know who's gonna learn this. Um, Primate. I, I thought Aerodactyls could learn that. That's pretty shocking actually. I mean, Aerodactyls is a rock Pokemon, so... Huh. So we have Submission and Thrash. I'm gonna switch it for Mega Kick. Now you guys, Karate Chop is a critical hit always, and I don't know, I just wanna keep it. It's cool. Hyper Beam! Who's gonna learn Hyper Beam? Huh. Huh. Ugh, no clue. Sky attack. Now we're gonna change that to Aerodactyls. Yep. And we're gonna teach him for. Hmm. Wind attack, I guess. Why not? Alright. And let's see, what else TM do we have left? TM26. Earthquake. Oh boy. Now Snorlax is the only Pokemon that can learn Earthquake. Kinda sucks. Skull Bash. Again, I'm not. Some of these moves are really hard to pick. Toxic, anyone can learn Toxic. Oh, Psychic, right. We're actually gonna see this to Lapras. I hope these are the right choices I'm making. <laughs> and we're gonna erase Confuse Rate. Now, Lapras has 150 special, so that makes more sense than to Snorlax. Let's see what else we have left. Double edge. Try attack. No one could learn that. Toxic. Now skull batch, you're probably gonna teach it to Arcanine. And we're gonna get rid of Leer. Right? Yeah, Leer. Here's crappy. Uh, let's see what else could we teach anyone. Hmm. Toxic. An earthquake. Now Snorlax is obviously gonna have to learn this. And we're gonna have to race Body Slam. Sadly enough, yeah, we're gonna have to race Body Slam. Oh. I don't wanna race Body Slam. You know what? This is part. This was probably stupid of me teaching him Solar Beam. I I mean I don't see myself using it. So what I'm gonna do is raise Solar Beam. That was a waste. But hey, who else is gonna learn it? Let's be honest. I mean unless. Hmm. 
Okay, so yeah, no one can learn that move except Snorlax and Lapras. And again, I do that. Fuck. Okay. So I did that. All right. Um, Solar Beam is a good move, but it's not gonna help. Trust me. Ice Beam is more useful, especially in the last um, round. Trust me. Trust me in that. Just trust me. Now, who can learn Hyper Beam? Who should I teach it to? Should I even teach it to anyone? Huh. I think I shouldn't, actually. Actually, I will. I'll teach it to Snorlax. And I'll raise Body Slam, just for that. Yes. Uh, I wish I could have raised that. Fine, whatever. Strength is just about the same power, so... That shouldn't be too bad. Okay, I decided not to do that. Just keep that how it is. Um, no, I'm not gonna teach Hyper Beam to anyone. Toxic? Nope, I don't think anyone should learn that. Try attack No one could learn that. Uh, Double Edge? Nope. Black again, nope. Thunder, no. Blizzard, nope. And let's see. A thunderbolt. Now I want to teach that to Lapras, but let's see if she could learn what, what else she could erase. Surf, body slam, ice beam, and psychic. I'm not gonna erase any of them. Now our primate could learn thunderbolt, which is kind of cool. Let me see Primate. His special is 99, which is not too bad. Okay, I'll teach him. You know what? YOLO. <laughs> Whoops. Wait. What if I taught him Hyper Beam? Nah, I'll just teach him Thunderbolt. Just to have a variety of moves. That's so weird. Alright. Um, so Primate wants to learn Thunderbolt. Karate Chop. Bye-bye. We've had it for a long time, I decided I was going to keep it, but now I changed my mind. And... well... Let's get our items back. And we're back, folks. And these are the items we have left from our journey that were stored in our PC. Now we're going to we're gonna sell some of these and make our money back, because we had to use some of the money to buy the coins to get Hyper Beam. So we're going to um, sell HP up. We're gonna sell iron. We're gonna sell. I'll keep the PP up. No, I cannot sell my bike. But I would get a lot of money for that. Uh, what else? PP up. Nope. And that's it. So we're gonna buy. Hmm. Twenty-four heal. Twenty revives. Uh, and the rest hyper potion. I'm guessing they don't even have hyper potions. Max potions. Uh, yeah, max potions. They're cheaper. Well, actually, wait, 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 wait. wait. I'll just buy it in another store. Uh, we'll buy it. Let's see. Never Island. Alright. So, sorry about that. <laughs> I had to speed it up because it's gonna take forever just to fly here. And they have hyper potions. Excellent. How much could we buy? 99? Oh. Really? That was pretty cheap. Ah, uh, we don't need that much. We'll just buy 20 as well. Oh, uh, wait. I can't buy 99. It's crazy. Alright, so let's go back and let's keep stop stalling and head to the gym. To the gym, to the Battle of Ages. The Elite Four. Let's go and fly away. Alright. 
Now, if I lose, guys, it's because I suck. So let's save state. Talk to this lady. From here on, you face the Elite Four on by one. If you win, a door opens to the next trainer. Good luck. Alright. And Pikachu starting off first. Oh boy, so scared. Da -da 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 -da. Welcome to the Pokemon League. I am Lori. I forgot how to say her name. Lori. Yeah. Of the Elite Four. Lori, I think it was. No one can best me when it comes to icy Pokemon. Freezing moves are powerful. Your Pokemon will be at my mercy when they are frozen solid. <laughs> are you ready? Oh, I'm so scared. Here we go. Lorai. I think that's Lorai. I forgot how the anime said it. So she starts with a Dugan level 54. We're starting off with Thunder. And it hits. Excellent. Not quite there, but pretty close to killing it. And the Dugan uses Aurora Beam. And that does plenty of damage. But Pikachu can handle it, and they use Thunderbolt. A cloister. So we're gonna stick with Pikachu. And use Thunderbolt. Thunder. And again, it hits. So impressive, Pikachu. I'm so impressed by you. And it kills the cloister. Now we're not messing around with these people. Um. So it's using a a slow bro. Let's keep Pikachu on for now. Thunder! And it hits three times in a row. We haven't seen Pikachu miss. Thunder. Just yet. Potion. Good luck with that. Yeah, that's not gonna do much. Thunderbolt! The Slowbro is down. Three out of five Pokemon are down. Can Pikachu take all of them out? Jinx. Apparently not. Um, let's use Arcanine actually. And let's see our first look at Arcanine. Arcanine level 54 versus a Jinx level 56. Use Flamethrower. Boom! And it's damn! Wow, Arcanine is such a monster now. I like that pussy ass garlic. Lapras, huh? We're actually gonna use Primate. Let's see how Primate fares. Lapras level 56. We know how powerful these Lapras can be. Submission. Boom. Ouch. <laughs> Alright. Oh, body slam. And Thunderbolt. Let's kill it with Thunderbolt. A primate knowing Thunderbolt. How about that? And it's down. So we beat Lorai. How dare you? What? I'm just beating you. You're better than I thought. Gone ahead. You only got a taste of Pokemon League power. So let's hear our Pokemon. And we're just doing another Elite Battle. Why not? You know, I beat them pretty quick. And you guys stayed to listen to my blabbering about TMs and all that crap. So why not? I'll, I'll reward you for that. I am Bruno, the Elite Four. The rigorous training, people and Pokemon can become stronger. I've wait trained with my Pokemon. Chisel. We will grind you down with our superior power. Hoo ha! I'm so scared. And Bruno starts out with an Onyx level 53. And we start out with Lapras level 55. Um, we're gonna serve surf. And let's see how that does. That should beat it. Alright. And uh, who's next? Uh a Hitmonchan. So let's throw an Aerodactyl to the fire. Mm -hmm. 
And let's actually try Sky Attack. Now this is how Sky Attack works. Glowing. X Defense. That's pretty dumb. And Sky Attack misses, of course. Oh, crap. Great job, Arc. Oh, wow. He actually survived the move, um, Ice Beam, which is... Come on, don't do that. Ah. He's gonna be like that, really. He's really gonna be a, def a, a basic noob. And it hits. Will that kill it? And it does! Excellent! The uh, Hitmonchan is down, and we're gonna fight the Hitmonlee, of course. I mean, of course, you have Hitmonchan, you might as well have Hitmonlee. And let's use Sky Attack again. Oh my god, are you serious? Twice? Ah, oh, we can't. Are you freaking serious? Fly. Let's go. Really? Three double teams. And it hits! Oh my god! And you're down. And who's next? Onyx. Let's use Lapis. Go Lapras! Surf! And level 56 Onyx is down! We're just going smoothly with this. Let's see. I'm a champ. Let's throw an Aerodactyl again. Let's see if Aerodactyls can handle a Machamp. He's a champ. Sky attack. Let's see if we can actually hit it this time. Alright, so he's going for a leader. And we hit it. Boom! Sky attack. 120 base damage. 240 with super effectiveness. And he's down. We get 2358 EXP. And we defeat Bruno. Why? How could I lose? Because we're just that good. My job is done. Go face your next challenge. Alright. And wow. So this is the area just like the Pokemon Tower. Now, we're going to save this, the rest of the Elite Four battle for the next episode. This has been Chisel Chill. Thanks for watching. Hope you loved it. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.